Hi everybody, Patrick here from www.electroniclessons.com and www.engineeringshock.com. Uh, kind of reinventing the wheel here. I've done several supercapacitor chargers, but this one I'm going to have as a kit soon, eno soon enough uh, and uh, an instructable on, so visit uh, www.instructables.com to, uh, to see it. It should be up in the next week or two. Anyways, you can see we sell tons of different supercapacitors ranging from 0.3 farads to 2600 farads. Uh, this charger charges to 2.5 volts or 2.7 volts. I'll have some different uh, values programmed into it later on, but basically it's got an ADC that takes the analog voltage, turns the relay on uh, and off based on the input voltage. We want to charge to, if 2.5 volts is the charge in the capacitor, the max charge in the capacitor, we want to charge to say 2.4. Because you never want to charge, I, I'm superstitious and uh, you know I'm very very careful with my supercapacitors. I want to make sure that I'm always charging to about 80 or 90 percent, never to the full 100 percent, just to keep them, just to keep them happy. In the case of 2.7 volts, I'll charge to say 2.6 volts. Anyway, now I'll give you a demonstration. Okay, so uh, this is a 2.7 volt, 50 farad supercapacitor. So what I'm going to do is setting one. I simply press this button once. You'll see the LED blink three times, and that'll indicate a 2.5 volt charge, or in this case, a 2.4 volt charge. Uh, and then afterwards, I'll show you the 2.7 volt charge, which actually charges to about 2.6. And again, relating to keeping it to about 90% of the of the maximum charge. So press it once. One, two, three. Relay turns on. Starts charging. So it charges relatively fast. Uh, what I had to do is I've got uh, a wall warp plugged in here and it's going through a series of uh, 1.8 ohm resistors so we've, we've literally got we've got over uh, an amp going into our supercapacitor right now if you have a better uh, if I had you know a, a single power resistor that was the right resistance in stock that's what I would have used uh, in this case this is what I did use I did keep about a centimeter space between the board and the resistors because they get quite hot uh, in the instructable, I'll be using a different resistor. Um, so right now, the positive uh, DC value is being fed into the ADC and it's being sampled. It's saying, is it 2.4 yet? Is it 2.4 yet? Is it 2.4 yet? And as soon as it is about two, roughly 2.4 volts, the relay is going to turn off and the green LED is going to turn on, indicating, okay, start over. You press the button again, it resets the system and waits for another instruction, whether it be 2.5 volt charge or 2.7 volt charge. Now at that point in time, we'll be at 2.5 volts, so we'll do the 2.7 volt charge, and it'll only take about a second to, or a couple seconds to bring it up to that 2.7 volt charge. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, fast forward until we're getting about to about 2.4 volts. So we're just about there. When it reaches to about about 2.4 volts, it's going to the relay is going to disengage and it's going to stop charging, and it's going to sit, wait for a reset. Okay, so at 2.42 volts, the max charge is 2.5 volts, so we charge it to roughly 2.4 volts. As you can see, the LED is turned on, so I reset it by pressing the button. So now what happens is. It, it's 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 waiting for instructions. So since we're already at 2.4 volts, we want to charge to the 2.7 volt option, which actually charges to about 2.6 something volts, just under 2.7. Uh, what I do is I hold the button, and it will blink. The LED will blink six times, indicating a 2.7 volt charge, or rather 2.6 something. Relay turns on. Charging commences. Now you think. What's the point of having two settings? Well, some most I mean, most capacitors, supercapacitors have a, have a maximum charge of 2.5 or 2.7. You always want to make you always want to take advantage of the of the difference there because if you start putting a bunch of them in series, you know those 0.2 volt differ that 0.2 that 0.2 volt difference can really influence your uh, your circuit. So anyway, 2.63 volts is where it stopped. You've got a fully charged 2.7 volt. 50 farad supercapacitor. So what I can do now is I can reset it, take out my supercapacitor, and uh, do whatever I please with it. In this case, let's discharge it. Yeah. 
you actually feel the welding effect of it sticking to the, to the scissors. Anyway, that's a ton of current that just passed through the scissors. You would think, oh, that's nothing. Trust me, you can do a lot with a 50 farad supercapacitor. Anyway, um, I'll have this up as soon as I can on Instructables. So, in the meantime, visit www.electroniclessons.com and engineeringshock.com. We've got a huge array of supercapacitors. Feel free to ask us any questions. Thanks for watching, guys.